Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. Coming at you with 2016-17 Panini Donruss Optic Basketball. Four box, third of a case. Last third of this particular case. Number 12. Pick your team number 12. On the 13th, a Tuesday. Great start to the week. Did a lot of great breaks today. And thanks to TJ Blanco with the Toronto Raptors Last Spot Mojo. So he has a little Last Spot Mojo star next to his name. All right, good luck, everybody. There he is, champion. All right, so each box has an autograph, and there's a bunch of parallels in there, so... We'll see what happens. Uh, vet base does not ship, but pretty much all the rookie cards, all the uh, all the rookie cards, all the refractors, all the inserts, parallels, serial numbered cards, autographs, pretty much everything else ships. Uh, no, the star means you got the last spot. Exactly, Scott. That's exactly what... Yeah, if you can't win with your team, go to the one that you know you might win one with. Yeah, I mean... I could see... I think that's what bothers everybody, right? I don't think anyone is bothered by the fact that, listen, you know, I don't think anyone's bothered with the fact that Kevin Durant, as an unrestricted free agent, went and went to, I don't think people would have minded if he went to any other team except for the Golden State Warriors. <laughs> because it's like, hey, it's your life. I agree with that. You know? But... I don't know. I don't think I don't think it was a good look for Kevin Durant. But hey, he did what he had to do to get what he need, felt he needed to get done. I guess that's good for him. All right. There's Ben Simmons. We'll save these cards, 76ers. That'll be for Gabriel and Kawhi Leonard. 31 out of 99. And that Spurs one goes to Craig K. We got Orange Aaron Gordon, 170 out of 199. Magic, that'll go to Blanco. There he is, Kevin Durant. And... Niang for the Pacers. Nice autograph there for C Shep. There's a blue Carl Anthony Towns, 23 out of 49. Red Murray right there. Spurs, 45 out of 99. Another one for uh, Craig K. Orange, Mono Ginobili, 81 out of 199. Set this right over here, and we'll sleeve all these up. But, I mean, Kevin Durant was an unrestricted free agent. He could go wherever he wants to go. Did his thing. That's fine, I suppose. I don't know if... I would have played it like that. I mean, what, weren't the weren't the Thunder able to give him the same amount of money though? And they just chose not to, I guess. LeBron to Golden State next. That would just that would just be silly. <laughs> I don't think the I don't think they could actually pay for LeBron. Unless LeBron took a uh, if unless LeBron took a serious pay cut. I think he's going overseas. Yeah, <laughs> LeBron's just a screw. Just go to China. No. Just play Europe. in Spain. 
Barcelona needs a Barcelona, yeah, Real Barcelona. What about Real Madrid? Victor Claver is leaving soon. Ah, just, get off, <laughs> just play like Maccabee Tel Aviv or something like that. <laughs> play for Israel. Um, uh, I mean, the, the Warriors have, you know, people people have to remember that they got to pay Steph, Steph Curry. Curry. <laughs> you know, they got to they they yeah. got. Yeah, and they got to pay Durant, and they got already like Clay Thompson already making almost twenty million dollars, you know. No, he's not going overseas, Grave Rock. That's obviously a joke. You know, and like yeah, Clay Thompson's already getting paid. You know, yeah, Draymond's getting paid all this money, all this sort of stuff. So like, it'll be difficult for Golden State to pay everybody that they want to pay. And it's Steve Kerr. All right, back issue Steve Kerr. So that 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 makes it all interesting. Now, Kevin Durant allegedly says he's going to take a pay cut, right? Okay, but that still means he's opting out. <laughs> you know why don't why don't you just why don't you just hold on to the uh, to that second year of the contract, even with the salary caps expanding? Oh no, but he's going to opt out. But it's not like the Warriors cannot re-sign. Uh, not like the Warriors cannot re-sign Kevin Durant at this point, right? But and that would actually be. Hey, if you can get Gordon Hayward to stay, that'd be an interesting team. If LeBron goes to the Jazz. <laughs> They defer their salaries, so they'll, it'll be like a Bobby Bonilla thing where they get paid a million dollars a year. Nathan says if Durant was smart, he would sign with the Cavs next year. Why would that be smart? Would it be? I don't know. I suppose so. The, the Cavs don't really have a lot of cap space either. To, to, to sign Kevin Durant. Paul Millsap, Hawks, Orange. That'll go to Scott. 173 out of 199. Bryce Johnson, Blue. For Ronbo and the Clip Show. 11 out of 49. Win two championship with championships with two powerhouses. What, what if, like, Kevin Durant just turns out to be just, like, uh, just a gun for hire, a mercenary? And just goes around just joining teams every year. Onuaku. Rookie auto for the Rockets. That'll go to Lars Nobis. Nice Ben Simmons. I think those will still go for like 20 bucks still, right? Something like that. Maybe more. There's uh, Red Wilson Chandler. Nuggets. 97 out of 99 for Lars Nobis. Paul George, C Chef saying Paul George is the Cavs, but do the Pacers want anybody that the Cavs want to trade? Think they really want Kevin Love? Or the other guys? So you gotta you gotta trade him and you still don't have any assurance that you'll be able to keep him when he's in free agency. Paul George. Is that a parallel? No, it's not. That's a parallel. Steven Adams, OKC. 192 out of 199. That goes to Lars Nobis. A lot of parallels in this one. This is nice. And Jimmy Butler at the very end. But it'll, it'll be, a, a, listen, I, th I think basketball does have one of the more interesting off seasons that are coming up. You know, the obviously since the rosters are so much smaller, 
every move that's made, you know, whether it's a re-signing or a new signing can be such um, a huge, can make such an impact on, on any team, you know, which would be, which would be crazy. Anthony Davis to Golden State. When's Anthony, when's Anthony Davis an unrestricted free agent? And all, all sorts of crazy opt-outs and contracts and whatnot. Scott saying the Wizards need to make a huge splash. Wait, weren't you saying earlier that be Kevin Durant could come back home to uh, to the Wizards, to DC? That'd be interesting. Go back to the district. John Wall, Kevin Durant. If John Wall stays. I don't see John Wall going anywhere, right? That could be interesting. <laughs> I mean, that'd be kind of funny. What if, like, Kevin Durant goes to uh, goes to Washington D.C. to run uh, to run with uh, John Wall, Bradley Beal, you know, and then just punks LeBron again in the Eastern Conference Finals, and then beats the Warriors again, and beats the Warriors not again, but for the first time. That'd be kind of hilarious. Yeah, Anthony Davis probably does need to get out of New Orleans. I mean. What if LeBron goes to OKC, says John? John F? Uh, I mean, Russell Westbrook and LeBron James? That'd be interesting. Thing is, here, I'll, open, I'll open up the second box too. Now that we're closer to the end, thing is, the uh, the Warriors are constructed so well as a team. It's not just a it's not just a collection of. Well, I mean, it is a collection of all stars, but but it's it's a team, you know, that plays like a team that buys into this this team concept and uh, of how they play, you know, under Steve Kerr and all that. And so, and so, I mean, they already won without Durant. They didn't need Kevin Durant. You know what I mean? Like, so Kevin Durant had to leave and buy into that system and play and integrate into that system because they didn't necessarily need him. So, I mean, that, that that's part of the that's part of the challenge as well. But Kyrie to the Golden State Warriors? I mean, Kyrie would have to be an unrestricted free agent. I don't think he is. I think he's under contract. Cavs would never trade him. But the off season should be pretty exciting. Again, with all the, with all the opt outs and different contracts and unrestricted contracts and the collective bargaining agreement dictating how much a team can pay a player that they already have or not pay a player that they already have, uh, all the all the trades that could potentially happen. You know, like the Celtics have so many options that they they could do. They can make a big splash. They could be the first domino in basketball. Should be pretty interesting. I'm looking forward to it. Draft is coming up next week. There's Contavious Caldwell Pope, orange. 30 out of 199. Um, a lot of people around the hobby suggesting that, that the draft class, and, and pundits in, in basketball as well, suggesting that, hey, this is a better, deeper draft class this year. And that's going to be good for 2017-18 um, basketball products. So we'll save that LeBron James too. 
Red Larry Bird for the Celtics. That's five out of 99. Celtics, that'll go to S-Man. Danilo Gallinari, 12 out of 199. Nuggets, that'll go to Lars Nobis. And Chris Dunn, rookie auto. Nice Chris Dunn, rookie auto for Lars Nobis and the Minnesota Timberwolves. I'll actually sleeve these up too. There's not too many of those rookies cards. Reggie Jackson for the Pistons. Chris Beck, 67 out of 99. And the last box, boys and girls. Good luck. Damari Carroll for the Raptors. That'll go to Blanco. 13 out of 199. Red DeMarcus Cousins. 89 out of 99. I think he's an unrestricted free agent, isn't he? Even though he got traded. So I think, you know, the Pelicans have to decide if they want to try to keep him or not. Or maybe there's one more year. I forget. D'Angelo Russell. A lot of people talking in LA. I'm a Lakers guy. 117 out of 199. Um, of course, S-Man. About D'Angelo Russell. You keep him. Trade him. A lot of flexibility for the Lakers, too. That's one thing I do like. I don't know what's going to happen. But I think there's a lot of flexibility for them. In terms of trades. In terms of cap space that they have. And Kay Felder. 97 out of 99. Dominator autograph, rookie Dominator auto going to the Cavs, Greg. Trogan Bender, 78 out of 99. Nathan, do you want me? Do you want them to take Josh Jackson or Alonzo Ball? At, at this point, the Lakers are so bad <laughs> that I. That I feel like like the top three are somewhat interchangeable, right? In terms of if they could be good or not good. Anyone, any one of them could be a bust. Just anyone who can just add to the team. I just want to take whoever the lake, whoever Magic, and 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 you know Rob Palenka, whoever they think is the best for their team, and and Luke Walton. When they all put their heads together, whoever it is, I really don't care. <laughs> I just want to add talent to the team. And that's it. Those are your two autographs. I'll sleeve these up too. And that's the break, folks. This is Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. The next three breaks of Optic will be from a fresh case. We'll probably post that sometime next week, maybe as like a draft day thing. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much, boys and girls. This is Joe. I'm out. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.